Hey everybody, it is Wednesday evening and I do not have a lot of time tonight. I was going to shoot an around the world update, but I'd never have time to get it uploaded tonight. So tonight we're just going to have a look at the pond and maybe tomorrow we'll try again for the around the world update. Uh, I've had a pretty hectic week, so I've been short on videos. Uh, I will not be shooting videos every single night from now on. I will do as many as I can, but I'm just too busy to keep shooting videos every night. So from now on, I probably will not be shooting uh, videos that contain so much fluff as I will be shooting videos that are more topic discussions and things like that. But in tonight's case, I do want to shoot a video about my pond here because I've been wanting to do a little update on this. We've got some new additions in there. I know a lot of you saw the video I did a couple days ago where I added a brand new oranda goldfish i'm looking in there now and i do not see her in there i'm saying her arbitrarily i have named her melissa fish and she is absolutely adorable i'm in love with that fish already and she usually gets in there and swims around and does her own thing oh there she is see that little orange and white a little fat bugger right there She's absolutely adorable, and of course everybody's standing right up here at the front door waiting to be fed, so I did actually prepare a little pinch of food for everybody. Actually, this is a rather large pinch of food. So this is just flakes rather than the crisps I normally would put in here, and again, that is quite a lot of food. Got a little carried away when I pinched it out of there. So the things that I am thinking about most with this tank right now this pond whatever you want to call it is one I really kind of feel like I need to get in there and do a water change the tannins are getting to be uh, pretty intense and then of course with the algae and the biofilm and everything starting to develop and grow in the bottom and give it that darker coloration towards the bottom it makes it even darker in appearance so I think I might do a simple water change just pull 50% of the water out and refill it and that'll just lighten the water up to some the other concern i've got at the moment is my elephant ears now these back here were doing exactly what these right here are and they were growing up and over and it just blocks all of the light right in the center of the tank and so what i did so far was that and i'm not 100 percent sure if i'm going to even leave this elephant ear in the pond because i kind of like the pond open at this end better i do have a lot of vegetation floating it sort of worked its way up into this corner and seems to be happy there and so i'm just going to leave it there and eventually this is water sprite so it'll all start to grow in uh it will start to grow emergent in fact you can already see where it's beginning to grow emergent here we got a little bit here that's starting to grow straight up so we'll have some nice big bushy um growth coming up off the surface of the water even without you know these huge elephant ears so i think i'm probably going to remove this elephant ear uh, i did just throw a piece of pothos in there just to see if i could get it to develop roots just to have it i'm not necessarily going to leave that in the pond i'm also getting some great growth off of all of my creeping jenny if you will look at this water sprite down here you'll see that we're starting to get a lot of really good growth off of that new shoots coming up I've even got a little bit of new growth coming off of the Anubias that's in here. So we are going to hopefully have some uh, Anubias leaves growing up and, you know, out of here. This water sprite, you can see, is doing pretty amazing. I got the Creeping Jenny down here. It's all growing up towards the light. All that looks really good. My method of having a little bit of splashing is keeping this moist enough that I'm getting plenty of growth on the fern. I mean the moss there. And just all in all, everything down at this end of the tank looks really good. I did consider going out and getting some more guppies today, and I probably will at some point add more guppies to the pond. I really do like the way they look in there. And this place is so big, you can put a whole lot of guppies in there without it really taking away from the uh, goldfish and the koi. So probably going to add some new guppies, but we've had a few unexpected expenses pop up over the last week or so. So uh, I'm not real keen on going out and spending money I don't need to at the moment. So we're going to hold off on that. I know koi, I mean, I know the guppies are only a few dollars, but at this, <laughs> at this juncture, a few dollars is a few dollars. And so we're not going to be uh, adding any new fish to the pond at the moment. 
but eventually I would like to get some more guppies in here so the other thing I want to do that I've not quite worked out how to do yet is grow this um, peace lily here open rooted I do have it open rooted but you can see I just have a piece of wire sort of wrapped around it and then I have the wire over the edge there and then the roots are just hanging free and so it's not exactly stable but it does sit there so I may take this and move it to this end and it would be easy enough I could put maybe a piece of branch across here and then put the you know uh, plant behind it so it would still look like part of the pond I don't know there, there's stuff I can do with it but I think the first thing we need to do is get rid of that um, elephant ear in that corner and then we'll have to wait and see I do have an elephant ear in this corner but it's still struggling I have not yet uh, seen any new shoots come out of there there looks like that little bright green one you can see looks like that started out and then either died off or was nibbled on by something and then chewed the end off or something but that doesn't look like it's fully developed so I don't know if that elephant ear is even going to survive or not uh, but we're gonna have to play it by ear to make sure we don't overcrowd the pond visually because I've also got in the bottom a uh, water lily you can see a pad right here and it's got some new growth down here I'm waiting to get some more pads on the surface and then hopefully eventually we'll have some flowers uh, some lotus flowers on the surface there and so I don't want these elephant ears blocking light right from the center I want lotus flowers and lily pads in the middle of this pond and we're gonna have them soon it's gonna look amazing so there you go that's more of an update than I actually planned on for this tank but as I said I've been thinking a lot about this tank today oh a couple other things I do want to point out uh, one it's almost hard to notice but when I got in here the other day I had to cut this big piece of wood that went into my 55 gallon tank and I just threw the other piece in here and the way it has sort of floated its way around the corner and the sawed off flat end has just sort of worked this way i didn't do that i swear it just sort of worked this way in there and now it's floating with the water dripping on it and everything it almost looks like it's part of the, the waterfall area so i'm going to leave that alone i like it there i mean eventually someday it's probably going to start to sink or something but that's fine too because it's a great looking piece of wood i'll be able to use somewhere else or leave it in here or whatever but in the meantime i really like that we are also still floating this big, weird, knobbly, ugly piece, and we're going to see if we can ever get that to sink, but that's still fairly buoyant. Uh, this one is still floating and fairly buoyant. I expect that too. I don't know if this one's ever going to sink, but the other piece of wood that I had in here that I told you was going to sink fairly soon did. In fact, I just now noticed if we look, this is the piece of wood that was part of that original piece that I collected uh, the other two pieces of it if you can see this big piece of wood here and then this big piece of wood here this piece of wood actually came from those this was all one big piece of wood I cut it into three chunks those are two of them and then that's the third one and if you use that flat cut edge uh, that is a really really good looking piece of wood you can do a lot with it and so that may end up in my 55 over there. There's this, this tank over here is going to be more of a wood-themed tank than a rock-themed tank. Um, but in the meantime, I was leaving it in here uh, just to see how long it would take to sink. Because remember, this piece of wood has been on my, um, was on the foot tank at my waterfall for years. So that's been just above water, exposed to air for several years. And you can see it's already taken on enough water that it sinks when I put it in there so maybe we'll be able to do something with that fairly soon so there you go that is the complete update I can't think of anything else I want to talk about look you can see I already disturbed my awesome piece of wood but you can see that current just pulling it right back in and so now it's going to be in there almost in the same way but facing this way with the cut end here rather than sticking out you know with the with the cut end this way so it fits in there either direction and still looks pretty good i like it so we're going to go ahead and leave that there like that so all right everybody there you go there's your update on my pond make sure you're subscribed don't forget to do a live stream every friday and sunday night at 8 p.m eastern time and on wednesdays tonight 
I do a private live stream for my members area. So if you're interested in getting a behind the scenes, a little more personal chit chatty conversational view of the fish room and you want to hang out with me on a Wednesday night, you can join up the membership for $2.99 a month. Otherwise, I will see you either on Friday or Sunday. Thanks for watching this one. See you real soon in the next one.